Also, before I forget, anytime you correct homework or tests or quizzes, never change the original work. Don't go back and erase it. Do corrections on another sheet of paper or next to the problem and circle it or something. Make it very clear what your corrections are. so terrible this morning I thought I was going to have to cancel class, but you're all like, you're of two minds of that. I'm glad you feel better, Jeff. You should have taken the day off anyway, Jeff. But I'm kind of happy just to be here right now, but um, <laughs> any questions over what we did last time? We, we actually managed to get into chapter three. Yeah. Chapter one. Chapter okay. three. Um, number four. Good. Number 24, you said? Yeah, sorry. I'm not sure what No, 24. Let's start with 24. This is page 32, number 24. Mm -hmm. Or, forgetting a new, new markers. Okay. This is, there's always problems in the homework that I expect questions on. And if I'm not getting those questions, I am worried that nobody's doing the homework. So this is definitely one I would expect the question on because it's a little bit weird. Um, so if you try this problem, I think you might agree with me. The federal income tax rate schedule for 2006, blah, blah, blah. So Stephen Maureen Tomlin paid, they paid 13000 where to go? $365 in federal taxes. And now, they give you that table and you have to kind of work backwards to figure out what must their income have been. Right? Let me see if I can get you guys started on this problem. Because you can see where this problem starts, you can probably take it through. But it's kind of like when you hit this problem, you might be, I have no idea where to go from here. What level of the table must they have been in? <coughs> okay, they, they paid $13,000 in taxes. So were they on the first level? Did they make only up to $15,000? Because for that first level, how many guys uh, are still bookless? The plight of the bookless. All right. Okay. Oh, this. Wow. All right. Um, so they give me a little table. I say if you make this much income, you pay 10% in taxes. <clears throat> if you make 15,100 to. Oops, that's 100. 16,000, not 16,000, 61,300 you make, uh, you pay 1510 plus 15% of any amount over 15,100. Uh, then if you made between these, <coughs> you pay 8440 plus 25% of any amount over. Good. And then the next one right here it says blah, 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 blah. You pay 24,040 plus 28%, blah, blah, blah. How do I know it's definitely not here? How much do they pay? They only paid 13, so I know they're not here. Right? And they paid, did they pay, uh, they paid more than this, more than 10%. They paid more than 15, 10. And notice, what is 10% of 15,100? 1,510. So if you made $15,100, 15, 
it's in both, but you still pay the same amount because you made zero over that, right? So that's why it's 1510 for making up to this much at least, and then 15% of anything over that, right? How are we doing so far? Now, if you took 15% of 61,300 and added this, you get this. Because now anything you make in between here is going to be taxed at 20, is that 25%? Yep. Okay, so that's just understanding the table by itself. I know they paid 13,365. So I know now which level they were at. Which level? One, two, or three? Because we already eliminated four. That's too much. <coughs> no, not in between two and three. three. It must be somewhere in this one because they paid at least this much, didn't they? They paid more than that. So the amount that they paid above this came from where? Why did they have to pay more than this? Because they made above 61000 They made more than this, right? Because you have to pay this much plus 25% of any you make over $61,300. Do you guys kind of follow the reasoning here so far? This is one of the freakier problems in this section. So if this is one of the few that you had trouble with, you're doing fine. Right? So don't sit there going, I have no idea what the hell this guy's talking about. I am so screwed. Right? It's not true. But if you follow what I'm doing here, I need to work backwards. If I knew how much money I made, and that's a pretty bad problem right there if you don't know how much money you made, I would just go to the right column. We got to kind of work backwards. Okay, we know they paid that much. They must have been here because <coughs> they made this. They had paid this much plus some percentage of the extra. So, how much money does this represent? You have to subtract. I love it. Subtract that out of the way so you can get at what that came from. How much came from this? So right. you subtract the. 8440 from the 6130 or no, from, from, the 13? from the taxes. This is all about taxes, right? And then you get the 25% of yeah. Exactly. So this money, the 25% of the rest over 61300, that must have been what made the extra amount of taxes they paid. And how much extra do they pay? What is 13365 minus 8440? Say again? 4,925. So 25%, and how do you write 25% before you start doing math? 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Of means times. times. The rest, I don't know. Because that's the whole point. I don't know how much money they made over that. And now you just got to solve for x. This is definitely a place where algebra <coughs> makes it easier to do the problem, right? You don't have to use algebra. Sometimes it's the best way to go. Now I just solve for x. Is that going to be their income? <clears throat> That's going to be how much they made over 61000 so you're going to add it to that. They're somewhere in the middle of these two. That's the whole idea. This piece actually tells you how much over they are from here. <laughs> so once I figure out what that is, that's the amount over 61000 So I just add it on top of that. That must be how much they made, right? So if you subtract the 8400 from the 13,000 and multiply that result by the 40 times 4, and then... Well, times 4, why, where did the times 4 come from? Because the 25 percent... 25 percent is also 1 4. So you can multiply both sides by 4, or divide both sides by 0.25. Right. Those are both the same thing. Is that okay? So if I divide both sides by 0.25, it actually is the same thing as multiplying by 4, believe it or not. So then what do you get? 9, so 19700 That's not their income. That's the amount that they made over, over the 61300 <coughs> Just add it to that, and yeah. you see how much they made. Thank you. That one is definitely one I expect a question on, because that's not like immediately <coughs> obvious. <coughs> right? Ari, what do we add that to? to the Again, so I'm in this level. I took that away, so whatever I have left must be the amount over this. Okay. So I just add that to this to see where they actually are. Uh, okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And hopefully, well not hopefully, but I think most everybody in here has had to go through filing taxes, right? Have you guys done that yet? Yeah. Not yet? Okay, maybe some of you guys are coming up on your first time. <laughs> oh, joy. Oh, <laughs> 
Um, any other questions from chapter one or three? Yes. Thirty-eight. That's the one cubic inches. One point three. Thirty-eight. Yeah. Okay. So the same section. How many cubic inches fit in one cubic foot? So can you guys picture like sitting next to you on the ground? Look down there. Do you see a little cubic foot? Mm -hmm. Here, let's just tell you that's that's, that's almost like that'd be about a foot. So if you had a little, if you had a foot up, come that would be a little cubic foot sitting there, right? <coughs> the little cube. So they want to know how many cubic inches. So now how big would a cubic inch be? It would be a cube that was about an inch on each side. So they're asking me how many of these little cubic inches, how many of these ice cubes could I fit into this big old cubic foot, right? So some of you guys who are better with spatial reasoning, you might realize a nice way to attack this problem. And this actually is going to come up again in chapter 8. And here's a really cool way to do this problem. Do you guys know how to draw a cube? Yes. Some, some people don't know, it's okay. The easiest way is to, to draw two squares and then connect the sides. I don't like all that mess, so I just draw and then come off of it. All right, my art students know all about the vanishing point and the, all that kind of business, right? If you're not an art student, just do that. <laughs> so if this is a cubic foot, there's actually a lot of different shapes that it could take, but let's pretend like it's the simplest shape. What's the simplest way to make one cubic foot? How how long would each side be? Twelve. Okay, good. But you got it. One step ahead of you. Each side would be one foot. Right? Each side would be one foot. That would make one cubic foot. Because how do you get volume? It's length times width times, width, times, width, times, width, times height. I love it. Right? So that is the most generic cubic foot. Then you go, okay, they don't want feet. They want inches now. So, of course, like you said, every side would 12. be 12 inches. So how many cubic inches would that be? 12 times 12 times 12. So 12 cubed, right? And what is 12 times 12 times 12? So this will be 1,728 inch, 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 inch cubed, cubic inches. So it's kind of cool. Now think about it. So if I had a, a cubic yard, right? So a yard by a yard by a yard. How many cubic feet would that be? Well, it's cubic, so I just take what? How many feet in a yard? If you cube three, you get cubit. Go square. Cubit. 27. So it would be 27 cubic feet. Right? Because I just cubed the number there. I just cubed that to get how many total cubic those would be in it, right? So the, the way you could do this is just draw the picture. If you drew a cubic, here it is, a cubic yard. One yard, one yard, one yard. Every side is three feet. And then three times three times three, 27 cubic feet. Cool. How's that? And so visual is kind of a nice way to go there. So basically it's always, a cube would always be three, so it's height. Like you said, height, width. Length, width, and height. height. Yep. Good. All so right. you Remember. just have to know the conversions of your RTP. The basic <laughs> conversions of length. Yeah. 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 Square and cubic conversions are disgusting. I just break it down to length, 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 and then remultiply. It makes wow. it really easy. Yeah. So chapter 8 is going to be all about conversions. So this will come back up in chapter 8 again. Of course, that's where we do the freaky metric system and everything, too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, our system is a freaky one. But we'll see what we got. Any other questions from chapter one or yeah? In one one three? Yeah, one three. Oh yeah. Oh. Fifteen on page thirty one. So they give you uh, all these numbers in this table. Here's what the size would be in, in the US. Here's what the size is in Japan. 